Welcome to another exciting episode of Cars with Big Boy Trev. I am Big Boy Trev and today we've lined up an amazing show. We are test driving the brand new Suzuki Baleno. But first things first, let's check out the highlights of today's show. This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, we take a look at the funky Suzuki Baleno refreshed for 2020. We analyze its unique design language, practical interiors that drip with technology, and not forgetting its fuel-efficient engine that offers the best of both worlds. Catch this and much, much more only on Cars with Big Boy Trev every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. only on KTN Home. Now this is the key to Suzuki's brand new Suzuki Baleno and prices starting at Kenya shillings 2 million do you reckon it's an absolute value for money and as far as hatchbacks are concerned let's start this review by taking a look at the profile of this particular car so as you can see the design face of this particular car is very edgy it's modern it's catchy and it's targeted to the younger generation where the Baleno sits very comfortably and as you can see you do have a V motif design with the Suzuki logo on the slated grill and of course the quadratic headlamps which makes this car have that visual appeal. Look at the lower bumper, as you can see again, Suzuki trying to make this Baleno very sporty. As you can see, the front dam air splitters again reveals that this particular car has that athletic stance that many other hatchbacks have in the segment, including the Volkswagen Polo. Now let's take a look at the side profile. Now this is where matters become very interesting. What Suzuki have done is basically create a design that is very unique to the Baleno. Now, as you can see, it has a sort of bulging fender and of course cut out with this particular 16 inch rims makes this car very very sexy and sporty moving along to the side as you can see less creases on the body profile and as you can see this hip line is lower enough to ensure that there is enough light that gets into this particular car now as you can see the chrome tips on the lower seals and on the door handles creates this car a je ne sais quoi feeling making it look very very premium now, as we move to the back, and this silhouette where it is a hatchback and it's slanting, it has that sporty feel. You actually feel like you're driving a sporty hatch, and that is the name of the game in this particular category. At the back, as you can see, because of the coupe sort of styling, the rear back is slanting slightly lowered to ensure that this particular car just revealed that it's a hatchback. With this chrome tip over here that is on the back panel of this Suzuki Baleno, again giving this car that je ne sais quoi, we keep on talking about, this adds a touch of fineness. Very rarely would you get a vehicle with this particular category with such styling. Again, as you can see, Suzuki logo and of course the Baleno indicating that this particular car has been redesigned for 2020. Now the bumper, as you can see, again massive. This hides a massive cavity that you're going to find out later on. This car actually is very practical can carry quite a number of things including a 90 kg sack with ease well that's just a tenth of the story it's time to check out the cabin how practical is this cabin how comfortable is it what features does it have join me as i do a review of the cabin courtesy of cars with big boy trend so guys you've seen from the walk around the subtle styling that suzuki has employed on the baleno and it's also found on other suzuki models that we've tested on cars with big boy Trev, including the sears and of course the Etiga Swift and the Jimny. Now, matters are not different inside. So step inside and have a look at the Baleno. Now, this Baleno has been designed in such a way to create an illusion of space. Like I've mentioned earlier, Suzuki are renowned to create spaces where there are none. And in this car, matters are exactly the same. In fact, it is so spacious, I am amazed at how big this car is. Now, let's start with the dashboard, as you can see. Now, this one-piece design has a Ford cab design that allows you to have more space. So the front passengers have enough leg room and of course they're able to feel free. And of course the use of lighter materials just to create that airiness in the cabin is so important. Now top side of the dashboard of course you do have some swooping lines that meet in the middle and of course there is a center console which is the highlight of this whole dashboard. Now this center console actually houses a 10 inch multicolor display unit that has all the bells and whistles you can ever think of right below the multimedia interface system lies the climate control system that actually as you can see from the design they are converging in the middle and of course there's a circular uh, screen that is monochrome that allows you to see the different temperature variations that you're able to execute with this ac 
now right below the ac is a gearbox console that actually is very practical this being a hatchback means practicality is the name of the game so there's plenty of cubby holes and spaces that allows you to be flexible you can actually put two cup holders and you can put your cell phone right at the end and of course you can also charge it using a 12 volt socket that is standard you can charge your devices and of course usb and an auxiliary port that allows you to be flexible if you are a person with an ipod and you want to connect the system and listen to good music good tunes courtesy of this baleno now moving over to the instrument binnacle again suzuki have tried to ensure that the driver is able to see all the visual graphics with ease without taking their eyes off the road now the italics are clear and precise spaced out again to give that visual representation you have on the left hand side the tachometer on the right hand side you have the speedometer and in between you have a monochrome display that gives you uh, stuff like for example if the door is open range and of course gives you your driving style the driving style ergonomics of this particular car again you can also select the torque but you can actually see the amount of torque that is being applied to the front wheels and you know it's just a subtle difference that gives this car that genre square now as you can see big boy is quite comfortable the seats are supportive lumbar support is amazing and i can tell you for a fact that anybody sitting in the baleno would feel very comfortable especially during long journeys and just to make matters better you can adjust the steering wheel based on your taste and preferences so it is tilt and telescopic just to fit your preferences so if you're a big person like myself or a small person you're able to adjust the seating comfort very easily to allow you to control the baleno at any given situation at any given time well that said it's time now to check out the multimedia information system then i'll move over to the back check out the practicality of the first row seating if there's enough leg and headroom go to the boot and see how much space it has and then you take it to the road courtesy of cars with big boy travel so guys we're taking a look at suzuki baleno's multimedia information system that comes as standard in this particular car now in as far as functionality is concerned it is placed right up there with the rivals such as the volkswagen polo and many others that are coming across into the country but today we start focusing on this functionality so the first thing that i do love about this system is the fact that it is high definition there is no other brand that actually has a high definition screen at this price point so suzuki are giving people value for money and it is no exception in the baleno so the first thing that i can tell you that this particular system actually has android auto and apple carplay functionality and to test that we're going to find out right now i'm just going to plug in my phone which is an android phone and see the functionality so i've plugged it in already and i'm going to ask it and command it to give me a few things so for example what is the temperature like today today in nairobi expect a high of 23 and a low of 16. so guys what you've just seen is how android auto works on this particular system what google have done is to create seamless connectivity between yourself your laptop your computer your tablet and into the car and you're able to connect and see so it swipes along your whole ecosystem and you're able to be very practical it doesn't matter where you are so for example this particular car will give you information of where you are it will navigate you and of course it will also read your messages respond to them and of course make uh, calendar dates in case you're going for a meeting or in case you forget it will remind you that's the beauty of technology because now it is getting into our lives it is becoming more productive so this productivity is very good on android auto which is supported by android phones however if you have an apple iphone you can be able to connect using apple carplay again it will give you similar functionality or slightly better and depends on the software of this particular car it's very fast very easy to use and of course it allows you to drive the car safely without toggling through your phone or pressing the the buttons over there that is so important now apart from that you're able to connect and listen to your music or listen to your files via an sd card that's right on top of the screen and of course you have usb connectivity right here where you connect either your flash disk or connect your phone via the cable again if you want to connect your phone via bluetooth there's that option as well you're able to connect your phone so that you can pair it and listen to music or even pick calls or answer calls that is so important in this day and age being practical and the target audience has been well catered for in the baleno so practicality here is the name of the game you can even play some of the audio files or visual files in high definition and you won't be stressed so imagine having a road trip with this baleno and there are four people or five people you be able to enjoy the functionality of this particular system notwithstanding it has a good six speaker audio system that Turns out 
clear travel and base notes so if you're an audiophile like myself then you'll be able to enjoy Fali, Pupa or any other African or Saudi soul via this system. Again, that's something that Suzuki have done to ensure that they give maximum value for money when you're buying the balloon. Moving over to the back seat and I can tell you big boy is quite comfortable. There's plenty of space in the back seat of the Baleno. Let's start with the seating comfort. As you can see, Big Boy is very comfortable. The seat in front of me is set to my height, which is six foot one, and I'm at the back, and I can tell you legroom is still fantastic. However, because of the coupe styling, the headroom is doggo small, but it's fine. If you're less than my height, then you'll be perfectly fine in the Baleno. As you can see, the seat actually has three headrests, but I think this particular car can sit uh, three average size adults or two big adults. Then in the middle you can have some space here for something again something i do like about this particular car is the safety aspect they've thought about putting seat anchors on each seat so you can actually put a child seat in this particular car plug it in and you're able to ensure that your child is safe while in the back seat of the baleno that is so important again three point seat belts across the seat just to ensure that everybody who sits at the back is belted to ensure maximum safety of the baleno how flexible is the back seat now, the back seat splits 60-40 to ensure that you're able to accommodate uh, enormous cargo or irregular cargo like skis or poles or whatever. But if you need more space, then you can literally put the whole seat down and create more space where you can carry large stuff like a fridge or whatever it is you're carrying. It could be sacks of potatoes if you're going up country. It could be anything. That means that the particular space of the Baleno is so practical for anybody who's starting a young family. If you're solo and you need to carry a lot of stuff, then the Baleno is the car for you. But just to confirm that, we need to go to the boot and see how much space the Baleno has. So moving over to the boot, when you open, it reveals a large and deep cavity. This is something I've not seen on the current hatchbacks of today. Now, from visual representation, this looks like it can carry a full sack of 90 kg potatoes. But in its native form, you can actually carry two big suitcases. Or if you need more space, you can literally lie flat the back seat to create more rooms. You can carry stuff like a fridge, a cooker, or anything else that requires plenty of space. Guys, today we are something the brand new Suzuki Baleno Refresh for 2020 and I know you're wondering what makes it so special so I'm gonna give you the ingredients that makes this car what it is one of the best efficient yet fun cars to drive now let's start with the engine now up front you do have a Suzuki sourced engine K14B it is a specialized engine that has been enhanced to give you good fuel efficiency and good power response so basically it's a 16 valve four cylinder petrol engine with multi-point fuel injection and of course variable valve timing now this allows this car to produce 68 kilowatts at 4500 rpm and 130 newton meters of torque and that power is sent to the front wheels courtesy of a four speed automatic where you're like okay four speed automatic is a bit old school but listen that four speed automatic has been tuned to ensure that you have maximum efficiency and of course the gearing allows this car to be very peppy at certain rpms and that is very important because when you're zipping through city traffic you need that mid mid-range torque that can only be given by a well spaced out gearbox so basically this four speed automatic lands and mimics your driving style to ensure that you're able to achieve a good fuel economy figure of exactly 6.5 liters per 100 kilometers and if you want to give it the bin deck now okay now can feel it it's hanging on to the lower gears to give you maximum torque and then if i tap down again it switches to the higher gears to ensure that i have maximum fuel efficiency so guys you're going to talk about the chassis and handling of this particular car so basically the chassis of the baleno is called the hatex chassis it's by suzuki and it's scalable architecture it's also found on the swift on the tiga and of course the seal that we sampled earlier on now the advantages of this chassis it is modular so basically it is extended or reduced depending on the model variation now the advantage of that is that you still have the same properties you probably find in the Jimny or the Sears in the same dimensions as compared to this 
particular version. That gives it a great advantage because it's 33% stiffer and yet offers more safety and comfort for the passengers. Speaking of comfort, you do have front MacPherson struts and at the back you have a torsion beam with coil springs to ensure that the car is planted on surface and of course it also gives you good ground clearance. Again, in terms of safety, Suzuki have not spared anything to ensure that you remain safe on the road. So basically, it has a mix of active and passive safety features including ABS, which is anti-lock braking system, brake assist with EBD, electronic brake force distribution to ensure that you stop perfectly. But in case all hell breaks loose, then you can rely on the six airbags that are strewn across this cabin. And of course, the most important item, the seat belt, to ensure that you and your family remain extremely safe while on the road. And that is something so important in this day and age because even B-segment cars are becoming safer and of course, easy to use. Now, the question still remains now, what is the value for money proposition of the Baleno? Can it outstand competition such as the Volkswagen Polo? We're going to find out right now as you do the value for money proposition, courtesy of cars with Big Boy Trev. So guys, that is a brand new Suzuki Baleno in all its glory. And I can tell you it offers absolute value for money. Strong, efficient engines. And of course, the styling is amazing and plenty of space. Now you're wondering how much does it cost on the road? CMC Motors will actually offer you this car at 2 million shillings VAT inclusive and will give you a 3 year, 100,000 kilometer warranty, whichever comes first. And you can rely on their extensive network across the country. Now you're wondering who are the key rivals in this segment? Well, just to think of it, there is the twin, the Toyota Select. I guess you have a wide array of choice to choose from. So, do you ever think that this particular vehicle is better than the rivals? Send us your thoughts as seen on the social media handles below. We'll get back to you next week with the feedback. Well, signing out, this is Big Boy Trev. Drive safe and be safe.